Hello everyone, Man's Not Hiding from EpicBot. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and run the scheduler with current scripts on EpicBot. To start off, you want to make sure that you are logged in to the right account. You will hit the play button. You will select the script that you want to run. So let's test on Pro Woodcutter. The right account and then the schedule we will get to here in a second. So you start script. Once the GUI is popped up, you'll want to set up your per road cutter script however you like it. So since we're at Willows, I will select Willow, location, Draenor Village. I want it to bank Draenor. Uh, let's let it longer sleeps and let's set this as a profile. So save Willow one, just the Willow test. Let's name it Willow test. So I hit OK. So it's saved. There it is. There's the profile. So once you're done that, you can exit out of here. You will go down here to the scheduler. You hit the plus name Willow test. It can be whatever you want to name it. Um, and then once it's added, it's right here. So first, let's start off with adding script. Let's find Pro Woodcutter under SDN it also has local local scripts if you want to add those um, then you will hit the three dots next to setting and then you will make sure to hit all files and if you're in epic bot folder you hit script settings you'll find what script you wanted to do so per woodcutter then there's the profile that we set up so all you would do is make sure you highlight over the right profile you hit open next is run for slash till so if I wanted to run for a few minutes till the script stops or a certain woodcutter level or any kind of level that you decide to do. So let's let's do for minutes. Let's do a little test. So let's do for two minutes. Then let's add a let's add a break and then I'll break for three minutes. And then let's add script and then I'll go back to woodcutter. Let's add the same profile. Script settings, per woodcutter, willow test, boom. And then let's do this for three minutes. So once you've done this, you have set up your profile however you like, you hit save. Once that is there, you'll make your way back to your account and it's still logged in. So you hit the play. This is whenever you do not have to click on the, the scripts in here. You have to go down to scheduler. And you see how there's willow test right here. You get the drop down willow test. You don't have to worry about clicking any scripts up in here. Um, make sure it's the right account and the right mouse profile and the schedule is there and you just hit start script. Here, schedule willow test running. So here, it'll take a few seconds for everything to run. You don't have to worry about anything in the GUI because it's running off of your sole profile. So once it's done this, it'll wait, give it a few seconds and it'll start running your thing. So for a few seconds. Um, once it is done, it should pop up down in the console. See, here you go. Normal, normal. Per woodcutter willow, willow test is running. So here it starts woodcutting. And then down here in the console, it will let you know every minute how much longer it has until the first thing is done. So for example, when it pops up, it should say, uh, we set the, the time for run for like two minutes. So it'll pop up every minute, letting us know how much longer until it should go on to the break. And then the break will say breaking for a few minutes, and then it should keep going back and forth. So it's running script for two minutes. After that two minutes hits, it should go into the break. But there is a one to two minute time in between that. So even if your account does get logged out, it will re-log back in and continue back running the script. So I'll let this run out until it happens. See, now it has hit script stop, schedule hit stop condition, time. So now it will 
it takes a few minutes, like a minute or two, in order to recognize that it's going on break. So once it happens, it will say down here, breaking for two to three minutes, however long I set it to. After that, I'll do the same thing and I'll repeat over and over, and then I'll go back to running the woodcutter script. So I'll let this run out. See, now it is taking break for three minutes. In the future, they will have it set so that you can make it log out and do other things on stop conditions whenever it goes to handle your break manager. Now it is logging back in so I can continue with the Pro Woodcutter script. Once it is logged back in, it will continue and go back to woodcutting. That is it for how to set up your scheduler. If you have any questions, join the Discord, ask in general. Uh, if you have any bugs related with it, type in bugs. Enjoy botting, happy botting, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.